Hi there again, this is Father Soch Villegas, your friend from Linga and Dagupan, greeting you and welcoming you to the Light of Faith. We received the question about cremation. Is cremation allowed for Catholics? Is cremation sinful? First, let us go down to the basics. The ordinary way of disposing of dead bodies is by burial. Why do we Christians prefer burial? Because Jesus himself was buried after he died. And when we bury our loved ones, or, or when we allow ourselves to be buried after we die, we sort of imitate the example set by the Lord Himself. He allowed Himself to be buried. He was buried after He died. But is cremation wrong? No. It would depend on the attitude. It is true that some centuries ago, cremation was prohibited for Catholics. Why? Because there were some anti-Catholic and non-Catholic people who wanted to ridicule the teaching of the Church about the resurrection of the body, about the holiness of the human body, about salvation, about life everlasting. So in order to rebuke the Church, in order to ridicule the Church, they cremated the remains of their loved ones and with a sort of smirk, say, come on, do you still believe in the resurrection of the dead? That is why cremation was prohibited for Catholics. But cremation, as we do it now, does not have those obstacles, does not have those, those problematic areas. Some people cremate because there is a plague and it would be impossible to bury all the dead. For example, some people cremate for hygienic reasons. Some people cremate for economic reasons. If the reasons for cremation are these, then cremation may be allowed for Catholics. Cremation is not allowed if it denies the resurrection of the dead, if it denies life everlasting, if it is a rebuke on the teachings of the Lord about the eternity of the soul. Now, what should be done if the body of our loved ones will be cremated? First, there should be a celebration of the Eucharist. It is ideal that the body be brought to the church and the funeral rites be done for the remains of our loved ones. And then they are brought to the crematorium and they are placed in rever reverential containers like urns, the remains are placed there with much reverence, with much respect, with much love. After they are placed in the urn, after the cremation, they may be brought to the church again for, for the final blessing, but it is wrong for Catholics to spread ashes in the sea or to spread ashes in the garden or to keep the ashes at home because ashes are remains of Christians and they must still be interred in a cemetery, in a memorial park, in an ossuary, in a columbary. They must be interred properly and the place of rest must be blessed also by our priest. Cremation is allowed, but the important thing to remember is the dignity of the human body. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, what our eyes see will all disappear. Sad to say, mamamatay tayong lahat. At kapag namatay tayong lahat, hindi naman mamamatay ang ating kaluluwa. When we die, our bodies die, 
but our souls live forever. I repeat, my dear brothers and sisters, it is not right to spread ashes in the sea, to keep ashes in the garden, or to keep ashes at home. They must be placed in the cemetery, in blessed containers, and they must be deposited in, uh, in memorial parks or ossuaries or columbaries with much respect because at the resurrection of the body, at the last judgment, these remains will rise up again and enjoy eternal bliss. Thank you for being with us and thank you for the question about cremation. I encourage you to send your questions. You can email, you can send us a message by Facebook. What is important is you keep, us, you keep in touch and tell us how we can help you, how, how we can lead you to the Lord, and how we can strengthen the light of faith that is in you. God bless you.